Well, hello everyone. It's Mike. It's uh, just channel news, uh, just to let you know how things are going. Uh, my earlier video this week on China and gold and IMF and SDRs and all that stuff prompted one comment. Uh, Mike, is there a Mandarin for dummies? Actually, there is a Chinese for dummies, which covers Mandarin Chinese. Ni hao. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so I've got, uh, I've also got a couple of Berlitz books uh, and the Chinese dictionary uh, because it's quite handy. One of my, I picked these up at um, Hong Kong Airport, I think. Yeah, it was Hong Kong Airport. Uh, because I was going to be doing some work there and then they decided to ship me over here to Canada instead for a long time. So uh, right before I came over to Canada for this particular contract, uh, we were doing a lot of work around uh, Hong Kong but also around Beijing and um, uh, a couple of other areas in China. And that's actually going quite well. Um, we have a couple of local distributors there uh, who I get to speak to occasionally. So it's always nice when you pick up the phone and they you say, Ni hao. Uh, how are you? How's it going? All that stuff. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, if you're serious about Chinese, these are the books to get. Now these ones come with, this one uh, came with actually a couple of CDs. Um, it's quite nice. Learn Mandarin Chinese in 30 days. I, unfortunately, because shortly afterwards we decided I wasn't going to be doing a lot of work in China, I stopped reading books. But <laughs> it's in here, um, and you can learn how to speak Chinese, and there's a CD at the back. So yes, go have a look on Amazon. Uh, my copy is 25 bucks US. Now these ones, I bought these in Hong Kong, so they were an insane price. Um, I don't even know what the official American price is. I wonder if it says in the front. No idea. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really good. It's actually quite good. Um, so for instance, if I wanted to say good morning, good evening, and good afternoon in Chinese, I'll do the morning because that one was easy for me. Uh, where's good morning? There we are. Uh, <clears throat> it depends on whether the good morning is before 10 a.m. or between 10 and 12. But if we do the before 10 a.m., uh, I believe it is pronounced Zhao Shen Hao. But I could be completely wrong in my pronunciation because I really wasn't paying attention. Anyway, what else has been happening with Mike? Uh, right, so, <laughs> so, so the uh, the project went live. Well, it didn't actually go live. We had a dry run of the project uh, yesterday, yesterday afternoon on Thursday, and um, basically it worked pretty much as expected. Uh, the basically what we do is we make the building of software faster or more predictable in this particular case. So what are we building? We're building software for phones. So the phones that you have nowadays, I mean, smartphones nowadays, there's so much software that goes into them, it's insane. Um, and it takes forever to build it. So what we do is uh, we provide a framework for building this software. Now, so our software basically builds other software. I know, it's all very confusing. However, what we did on the dry run was we ran one of these big production builds so that you know it builds all the software for all the particular versions or variants of this particular phone and uh, normally it takes about I don't know what eight hours or something like that <clears throat> and the reason we're actually being brought in to replace their existing way of doing this is um, sometimes it takes eight hours sometimes it takes 28 hours they really can't tell <laughs> how long it's gonna take and this is kind of a nightmare situation for them. There is no predictability in how long it's going to be. So with our system, hopefully the predictability and reliability of the software building will be improved, which is the whole point. Anyway, so our build went went fine. Um, yeah, it failed, but it failed in the same way that their the real build is also failing. It makes it really difficult when they give you something to build that doesn't actually work. We basically got it to not work much faster in about two hours. <laughs> instead of six. So, but still, it's kind of difficult to tell. So hopefully on Monday or Tuesday of next week we will have something that will actually build successfully and then we can tell them how much faster it's going to be and how much more reliable it is with our system, etc, etc. And the official, official go live date is the end of the month, uh, somewhere around about October 2nd, I believe, is when uh, a couple of other projects come online. And then after that, after October, um, who knows how long I will be here. There are rumors and whispers that I will be here much, much longer than October. But of course nothing's been signed, so nothing can be said, as usual. Uh, but I'm expecting to see um, the new year, <laughs> at least, uh, here in Kitchener-Waterloo. So, 
Okay, so I'm um, rambling now, so I'm going to uh, shut up now and go away. And uh, so yeah, if you want to learn Chinese, there you go. I'm going to do a news report on the weekend, and because of this whole thing about our system actually working and being successful, EP, um, I will have more time available for doing other things instead of just looking after the software system they have. Okay, everyone else, everyone out there, peace, love, understanding, think about things, and I will speak to you again, probably, on the weekend. Okay.